Great, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to start with our next presentation. I'd like to take a few minutes to tell you guys a little bit more about our SolarWatt My Reserve battery. So I invite you to come in, sit down, give your feet a rest if you've been on the fair for several days. I bet they're tired. And I'd love to speak to you for the next couple of minutes. But let's start with an introduction to SolarWatt. What is the company that stands behind all this orange? SolarWatt has been in the solar industry for the last 25 years. We started with our core product, our glass glass solar panels. And I can explain a little bit about what makes these panels so special. So rather than what like most of our competition, especially from the Asian region, where it's a glass panel on the front and just a foil on the back side, that does not optimally protect the really sensitive solar cells that are basically sensitive to just about everything. Moisture, oxygen, pressure. So what we did is we built a panel with glass panes on both sides to really keep those incredibly valuable cells protected for as long as possible. And we guarantee these panels for 30 years, not just the product, but actually that at the end of those 30 years, that the performance is at 87% of what it was when the panel was first purchased. But moving on from that, it's not enough to just have a PV system on your rooftop. There's no transparency there. Aside from going into your basement and tapping on the meter or perhaps waiting for the next energy bill, there's no real confirmation of what's happening within your own home. And we wanted to give our end customers full transparency into what was happening with their energy within all four walls. And so then was born the SolarWatt Energy Manager. And what this Energy Manager does is offers complete transparency to what's happening on my roof. How much energy is being produced? How much of that is being used within my own home? How much of that am I sending back into the grid, in many cases for nothing in return, as feed-in tariff subsidies fall rapidly across the world? But all of this, again, can only happen within those hours of sunshine. And so then, of course, the third of those competencies came in, which is our battery, my reserve battery. And this was one that we developed with some experts from Formula One racing teams. We went to them and said, we see you're building some of the fastest responding batteries in the entire world, and we want you to come and make those for us, for stationary home batteries. And if you're asking yourself, well, what does it matter if the battery's fast? It's just sitting in my home. And I'm going to get to that, because that's a really good question. But first, what sets our battery apart just from looking at it? It's incredibly modular. I'm sure you've seen on the rest of our stand the various configurations that we have there. What are these two pieces? These are our two building blocks, and that's it. That's our battery. This black part is the My Reserve Command, and that houses the power electronics and the intelligent battery management system inside. This also has all of the plugs. This is where you can plug in the PV plant, and you've also got the output to the inverter. Stacked on top of the command are up to five My Reserve packs. And these are the battery packs themselves. This is where the battery cells are stored. And all of these can be combined and scaled at will. Anything from a tiny 2.4 kilowatt battery all the way up to a, frankly, commercial installation of 60 kilowatt hours. But it's completely scalable. And the wonderful thing about the scalability is it's also retrofitable. So rather than when you've got an increasing power demand needing to rip out some 150 kilogram monster from the wall, you're actually able to just screw another bracket over top of the existing packs and add on a few more. What does this mean for installation time? Well, for some customers who don't even have a basement, where are you going to put a large refrigerator-sized battery, which frankly, at 13 kilowatt hours in some instances, is completely overdimensioned for the average family home? Our most sold battery is actually our 7.2 kilowatt system, and that is sold most often in Germany because that covers an average family's needs. The wonderful thing about a truly dimensionable system is you can install exactly as much as you need for your own individual needs. You don't have to take whatever happens to be available. You can build the perfect battery for your own needs. Compatibility. For those of you who are installers, you have a lot of partners that you like to work with. And we recognize that. We've made our battery compatible with all of the most respected and high quality inverters on the market. So that's not even an issue you have to worry about. But back to what sets our battery apart. Efficiency. Now you can see here 
there's two numbers here, 90% and 75%. What does this mean? Most of our competitors build AC side batteries, and what that means is it's installed on the other side of the inverter and not between the panels and the inverter. Panels produce DC current, direct current, and that needs to be converted when it gets into the household into alternating current. What we chose to do very intentionally was to build our battery such that it's installed between the panels and the inverter because the batteries also store direct current. That means the power coming from our customer's roofs only has to be converted once into alternating current. This is leaving. Of course, with every conversion, there is some energy loss. That's just unavoidable. But with our battery, the way we've built it, you only have to do that once, and you still have 90% usable energy available. Other manufacturers make AC batteries, and they are admittedly easier to manufacture. But at the end of the day, after three separate conversions, once to go through the inverter, into the battery, and then back out of the battery, that's three separate conversions, leaving their end customers with only 75% of all that energy that spent all day being produced on their roof completely free. Well, they get three quarters of it at least. Our battery is substantially more efficient, and this just means more usable energy for our end customers. Again, they can get a perfectly dimensioned battery. If you're only getting 75% of your usable energy, of course you have to install a bigger battery. But the materials in those cells is also not optimal for the environment when, it's, when you have to toss it away. So the smaller the battery, the better. What else sets ours apart? Many of you have heard about how lithium-ion technology charges. A lot of you hear when you buy your, buy your latest cell phone, and the tech guy tells you, don't leave it plugged in all night because what happens is the battery just wavers between 99 and 100 percent and this speeds up the age of your battery and means that its overall capacity is going to de decrease faster over time. Well it turns out home lithium ion batteries are basically the same and most of our competitors have a charging strategy that says all right the sun's out I'm charging there's an over there's an excess of energy because nobody is at home so the power can go straight into the battery and on a sunny day it's already fully charged by noon but of course everybody's gone you're at work your kids are at school nobody's home to use that energy so that battery sits at full for hours up to maybe six to eight hours and it's sitting in this red zone which is the chemical stress that those lithium ion cells are, are um, what am I trying to say here? The chemical stress that these cells are experiencing, this speeds up that aging process. Our battery, on the other hand, inside that black command unit has an intelligent charging al algorithm which slows the charging down and it learns from your consumption. So it sees if you're getting home at 4 p.m., the sun's still shining, but by the time the sun goes down, maybe around 6 or 7 p.m., maybe closer to fall, then you're going to want to start to use that power. And the battery charges such slowly so that it's only fully charged for ideally just a few minutes before you can start using that power again. Now imagine using this battery for, in many cases, guaranteed up to 10 years, and that anywhere from six to eight hours of a competitor's battery aging much faster, that's going to have a dramatic effect on its lifetime. We actually know what the effect on the lifetime is. We sent our battery cells to the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, and we had them check battery cells charged with a normal charging algorithm and charged with our intelligent algorithm. And what happened? They found that our cells operated with the intelligent charging algorithm lasted 22 months longer. That's almost two years of extra use out of your battery. That can translate to 5,000 extra kilowatt hours of completely free power available and pushing off the purchase of another battery system by an additional two years. That's a substantial difference and this is again the savings that we offer our customers with high quality premium products. I'm going to show you guys, I teased about this a little bit, what does the speed of a battery matter? Why does speed make a difference? As I mentioned, we have some Formula One experts who used to work on racing car batteries, and they came and built our stationary battery. What I'm going to show you is a diagram, and on the 
the left hand side you're going to see a power demand curve, that's the blue line. And so we switch on the device and it pulls constant power for a few seconds and then we switch it back off and the demand goes away. You'll see our battery and how it responds to that power demand on this side and you'll see another German competitor just a few stands over and you can actually see that installed on one of the walls on our stand and how fast, or in this case not so fast, it responds. Let's take a look at that animation. This was actually done in our testing laboratory. So that power demand goes up and almost immediately afterwards the orange curve comes up. Now after several seconds the competitor's curve has gone up and the power demand is gone, our battery goes down, and then the competitor's battery goes down. So what does this mean? Well here you can see after just about a, a second and a half our battery has completely met that power demand. And we, the reason that we don't have it meeting the demand immediately is that actually sending that power through so forcefully ages the inverter more quickly than it needs to be. So we made a trade off there. We want also the inverter to last as long as possible because we have such a long lasting battery. It meets that power demand almost exactly. And then as soon as the power demand falls off, the battery also kills the power quickly and stops discharging. Well here, after several seconds, the competitor's battery fires up and starts discharging energy. But all of this energy has to be purchased from the grid in the meantime. It doesn't make it all the way up because the battery's intelligence system didn't quite judge accurately how much power was actually necessary. So this last bit up here also has to be purchased from the grid. Then the power demand goes out, but the battery didn't get with the program fast enough and it's still discharging energy. Well, if that's not necessary in the home, where's it going? Back into the grid. So your rooftop system, which has been producing energy for you all day, it's been storing it safely in your battery for use when you get home, has now sent that completely clean, valuable power back into the grid. In many cases, in many countries, for absolutely nothing in return. This battery was able to meet about 32% of the demand. Our battery, on the other hand, the My Reserve, met that, met about 85% of that demand. So I hope you guys can understand now that reaction speed is incredibly important. And our competitors are not lying about it. If you ask them, they'll honestly tell you what the reaction speed of their battery is. But until you see something like this and imagine, your home or small business's demand over the course of a day fluctuates wildly depending on which devices are turned on and off. So multiply this times 100 per day. And then the, the 10 years that you're hoping to get out of this battery, that makes a substantial difference. This year, we're also really excited to be able to offer emergency backup power. So when our battery is paired with a Fronia Simo hybrid inverter and a My Reserve switch box, it's also able to power up in instances of a complete grid failure. Now we're fairly lucky here in Germany not to experience that very often, but some of our colleagues down in Australia experience that on a fairly regular basis. And so we're really excited to be able to offer this option. And you can actually see the very first wall when you come in and approach our stand. There's a giant irresistible red button that you can press and you can watch these products all working together to fire up and in the space of 20 seconds respond to that grid failure and restore power. Not just from the battery but also from the PV panels so they're working together in case the sun is still shining. As you can see, we are incredibly proud of our battery and our protections match that. We guarantee that our My Reserve battery will still have 80% of its rated capacity when it was purchased 10 years afterwards. And then, as if that weren't enough, we also have our full coverage insurance. This is five years completely free insurance for our end customers that covers their battery and actually the entire system if they've chosen a complete system from SolarWatt. And this protects it from theft, vandalism, fire, extreme weather damage. The not only is the replacement covered of the replacement product, also the installer's time and the transportation costs. Everything is covered by SolarWatt because we want our customers to have 100% peace of mind. This is a 
little bit much to look to see at first glance, so I'll just go through it quickly. I've spent my time talking about our battery, which together with the AC sensor, which keeps an eye on everything that's happening, is able to respond incredibly fast. It's working together with the PV panels producing energy on the rooftop, and this year we're also, we've also introduced our smart panels, and these have a pre-installed power optimizer from SolarEdge. And so this means that your panels can be smart charging throughout, um, not charging, that's the battery's job. They can be producing energy intelligently over the course of a day. A PV string, and a string is just several panels installed in a row, operates much like a chain. The weakest link is the biggest dictator of the performance of the entire string. Now what can cause a particular panel to be weak? That could be shadowing or some sort of cloud cover for a couple of minutes. And rather than bringing down the performance of the entire string with a power optimizer pre-installed, you're able to ensure that the entire performance of your roof is not damaged by just a bit of cloud cover or perhaps shading from a nearby tree. The energy manager is the central intelligent unit of this entire installation. As I mentioned at the beginning, the energy manager is what gives our customers that 100% transparency into what's happening within their own four walls. They can see their level of independence achieved through the, producing their own energy. They can see how much power they're sending back into the grid. And they can also optimize the power use of all of these devices and more, such that it's falling within the range where sunshine power is available and they can be used for free. We offer all these things as one system. As you can see, one system designed and made in Germany. I'm incredibly proud to be able to say that our panels are also produced in Germany. They're produced at our manufacturing facility in Dresden, where I work. And this is a fully automized, modern processing facility with giant what other color, orange arms whisking the products around. The energy manager hardware, which you can see on the walls here, these small, really sleek looking black boxes, are also produced in Germany, and the software is programmed right in Dresden. And our batteries, surprisingly enough, still in 2018, made in Germany. This black intelligence unit, the My Reserve Command, is assembled in Dresden, and the battery packs are assembled at our uh, subsidiary, SolarWatt Innovation, which sits in Cologne, and those are those battery experts that I've been talking about. All of these things come together to allow us to be the one true systems provider in Europe. We're able to offer our customers the complete package. Everybody hates when there's a problem with one component of a supposedly intelligent system working together when one of them stops working and the manufacturer just sends them over to another one and says, nope, that's got to be a problem with your energy manager or vice versa in the other direction. We stand behind all of our products and by making them ourselves, we take their quality in our hands and have complete control from start to finish. I know you guys are all probably tired. It's the last day of InterSolar, so I would love to invite you to come and take a look at our stand. You can also go up on the balcony and take a seat, maybe enjoy some coffee, and chat with our representatives, my colleagues, who would be delighted to answer any questions you may have. I still have a few presentations today. I'll be performing, not performing. I'll be speaking to you guys on the 30 every hour until 3 o'clock, so I really hope to see some of you again. I wish you all a wonderful day, and yeah, I hope that you come and let us convince you of our, the outstanding quality of our products. You all enjoy your last day here in Munich. Thank you.